Good morning, brothers and sisters. This is our first prophecy report of 2023. In her winter 2023 newsletter, Jan Markell said Pew Research just released a report that found among all U.S. adults, 39% say the end times are now. This includes 47% of all Christians, which in turn included 55% of Protestants, 63% of Evangelicals, and 31% of mainline church members. Markell made it clear that the poll was about the second coming, not the rapture, which will take place a minimum of seven years before the second coming. Everyone needs to be rapture ready. Here are more events that confirm it. One concerning depopulation and the decline of America, Catherine Austin Fitz made some interesting statements in an interview posted by Greg Hunter on December 20th. Hunter reported that Fitz said, the U.S. is so fraudulent that it will self-destruct much sooner than later. My question is how much of the money sent to Ukraine is coming back to the U.S.? There is a machine in control of a spending machine that is financed with our taxes and debt that is borrowed in our name. The machine is implementing a depopulation plan to balance the books and changing the president will not change what the machine is doing. If the machine does not fail you in 2023, it will fail you in 2024. On December 31st, New York became the sixth state behind Washington, Oregon, Colorado, Vermont, and California to legalize composting of deceased human bodies. The environmentally conscious in those states can now treat the body of a loved one as a disposable commodity have it composted, and use it in a conservation project. When asked about his second coming, Jesus said, When the abomination of desolation, the Antichrist, spoken of by the prophet Daniel, stands in the holy place, in the rebuilt temple at the middle of the tribulation period, the Jews in Judea should flee into the mountains, a place prepared by God where they will be supernaturally protected, fed and watered for three and a half years. Jesus did not name the mountains, but many prophecy teachers think he was talking about the ancient city of Petra in the mountains of Jordan. On December 28th, it was reported that Petra was flooded by 3.1 inches of rain the day after Christmas. 1,700 tourists were evacuated and it was closed for one day. Put another way, if this is the place preparations have been made for lots of people, the Jews can get there, and if they need food and water, God can send it. It will be neat if the food is manna from heaven. Concerning the battle of Gog and Magog, an Israeli attack on Iran is not the battle of Gog and Magog, but Iran said she will counteract if Israel attacks her. Russia and Turkey have warned Israel not to attack Iran. If Russia, Turkey, and others joined Iran in a counterattack, that would be the battle of Gog and Magog in an undeniable sign that the world is in the latter years and latter days. On December 28th, it was reported that Israel has improved its preparations and readiness for an attack on Iran's nuclear facilities. On December 29th, Benjamin Netanyahu was sworn in as the new Prime Minister of Israel. Netanyahu is appointed a man to lead Israel's National Security Council that has repeatedly threatened to destroy Iran's nuclear facilities if the U.S. does not secure a deal to stop Iran's development of nuclear weapons. As of September of 2022, Biden has given up on getting Iran to stop. Concerning the days of Lot and immorality, the Knesset and Netanyahu's government elected an openly gay man to be the Speaker of the Knesset the first openly gay person to hold that position in Israel. Concerning the days of Lot and immorality on December 31st, Elon Musk's Twitter reinstated the Christian post after nine months of censorship for telling the truth, calling President Biden's Secretary of Health, Rachel Levine, a man. Levine is the father of two boys, a biological male who divorced his wife, let his hair grow long, started wearing a bra, and identifying as a woman, 
but the former Twitter owner said the Post committed hateful conduct by calling him a man. After Musk reinstated the Christian Post, its editor said they are a Christian publication, their primary responsibility is to God, and they will continue to report truth to the best of their abilities. Concerning global warming and electrical vehicles, on December 28th, it was reported that New York City has 2,100 trucks that run on diesel fuel and can be fitted with plows in the winter and used to clear snow. The city also has 6,000 garbage trucks that run on gas that they would like to convert to electric vehicles, equip them with plows, and use for clearing snow. They recently learned that the trucks that are converted to electricity are not powerful enough. They do not do an acceptable job. They only run about four hours. And the equipment and space to charge thousands of vehicles every four hours would be extremely expensive. Some of their officials have concluded that it might be feasible to convert the trucks in the future, but it is not feasible now. Concerning the days of Noah and wickedness, on December 29th, it was reported that looting and stealing from stores in San Francisco is costing businesses almost $100 billion per year, and government officials are doing nothing to stop it. Concerning Netanyahu's new government and the Temple Mount, on January 3rd, with the approval of Prime Minister Netanyahu, his new national security minister became the first sitting minister to ascend the Temple Mount in five years. During his visit, he said, The Temple Mount is open for everyone, also Jews. The PA condemned the visit, but many Jews praised it. Concerning world government, the World Economic Forum will begin a series of meetings on January 18th to focus on countering misinformation. Note, it is time to face the fact that world leaders are deliberately transitioning the nation toward a world government, the New World Order or the Great Reset by 2030 or sooner. And pre-trib rapture teachers believe the rapture is before the tribulation period. Those that are left behind will regret it. Finally, are you rapture ready?